Hello, my name's Tom Russell and I'm a senior research software engineer in geography at the University of Oxford. I'm excited to present my application to the Software Sustainability Institute Fellowship and I'd like to tell you a little bit about who I am, what I do and my plans for the fellowship. I started out with an undergraduate degree in French and English literature before working as a translator and then moving into web development. I did a master's in spatial analysis and data visualisation about five years ago at UCL before joining Oxford in 2016 as a software technician. Soon after joining I found out about research software engineering and the work of the Software Sustainability Institute and changed my job title to research software developer before moving into my current role. Uh, I started working on the Mistral project, developing system of systems models of infrastructure and supporting researchers in their code development, their simulation model development, uh, training them on the use of version control in Git and GitHub, testing continuous integration and advocating for uh, the uh, publication of software as open source. Um, leading on from that project over the past couple of years, I've been a Daphne champion, uh, an expert user of this compute facility based in FTF STFC, um, where the intention is to share simulation models and make them accessible and reusable um, through containerization and workflow sharing. Uh, that's also involved a little bit of community building and advocacy for the approach. More recently, I've been working on climate risks to infrastructure networks, where that's involved designing and developing a couple of specialised software libraries that we've used in our reproducible analyses. Uh, I've done that in collaboration with another, uh, with other research software engineers and researchers. And I've also made contributions to more general software libraries um, we use more broadly in related areas. The final thing I wanted to talk about in my previous work was the is the Colouring London project. This is something I started when I was at UCL uh, and developed the prototype for the for the project and have kept in touch with as tech lead over the past couple of years. This is an open source, open data project, collecting data on all of London's buildings. Things like their age, the material they're built out of, and whether people like them. Um, from this project, I wanted to draw out a strand of work that I would like to focus on in this fellowship. This is... Uh, collaborative data maintenance. So the, the Colouring Cities Research Programme is now based at the Alan Turing Institute and led by Polly Hudson. There's a, a, a nascent network of the, the interested and willing. So these are researchers in the UK and around the world who share an interest in open data and the built environment, and um, also specifically an interest in reproducing and adapting the Colouring London code base and approach. Uh, this has already already been done to some extent in Beirut, in Lebanon, um, and researchers in Dresden and Zurich and Athens are, are looking into how to uh, adapt and reuse the code and the approaches. So the plan for this fellowship is to nurture this, this network uh, and build on the communication we've had already. Specifically, I would like to host a series of open online calls to help share experiences and knowledge about open data sources, software tools and software libraries for building these kind of collaborative data maintenance platforms. And also generally to support uh, the sense of community and um, broad international collaborative research in the area. Um, in addition to that, 
I'd like to run a couple of collaborative de design development sessions inspired by the Turing Way book dashes. I anticipate there'd be two or three of those over the 15 months of the fellowship. Beyond this communication and these calls, I'd like to write and talk about the problems, tools, approaches and techniques. Concretely, that would come up as um, blog posts and conference attendance, um, but it could also extend to um, more social media activity or, or workshops. Thanks for listening.